Welcome back out to the channel, everybody. This is from the Ground Up RC. My name is Aaron. I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> Heating this didn't work out. Um, we're gonna take it off. Uh, we took all lining gear off. We're gonna take the wing off, remove the covering, and I'm gonna put uh, hold it straight and uh, clamp it down and spray with window cleaner. All right, so we got our flaps, the other ones removed. Um, on this one, we just took the cutoff wheel, kind of came in there. Just barely touched it. Didn't even have to cut all the way through, just down to the pin and they popped right off. Um, I like that a little better than trying to clip them. So to get these out, I'm gonna try using a different bit on top of the Dremel. On the Telemaster, we just drilled it, but I figure I'll try a different method, see if I like something else. All right, so we got it completely uncovered. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this was uh, either silk or a SIG coverall um given that there's some some coating on here so i'm gonna have to kind of clean that off so that i can get the windex hopefully to sit soak in that i mean we're just gonna just gonna sand it smooth which you gotta do anyway after pulling that up because it pulls the wood fibers so if you want a smooth finish you gotta pull that up i don't think i'm gonna worry about taking the servos out we'll just cover around it it's not gonna be that big a deal this is the side that's warped over here and if you go like that you can see you can see the daylight underneath that rib so i'll just put a sandbag back here set it there and see if i can't get that to sit flat um we'll just put wax paper underneath so we don't get the plans wet and don't have to worry about rolling up the plans i might put something underneath the front right here to give it a little extra Twist a little further than what it already is, but okay. So we got we got all our hinges cleared out, new hinges in there, and they all fit um, fairly tight. So I don't know if I'm gonna bother putting another block um, on the end of that, but uh, I might. If I do, I'll just tell you about it because there's a lot of hinge there that could still grab onto stuff. So yep, well, time to just sand it and cover it. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail on that. Just know that the smoother it is to begin with the less stuff you're gonna see come out on your covering all right so back out working on the, the ailerons and the flaps we're gonna recover them i've already done the wing i don't feel like i need to cover uh how to cover those but uh this flap was already covered and it had this uh detail strip already glued onto the covering and then it's covered a second time so I just picked up a package of uh, 0 0.30 by 0 0.30 uh, styrene strips. Um, this flap, I've already covered it. You can kind of get an idea what it looks like. I'm just going to hold it up against that. And I'll come in and I'll mark each one of those. Um, and then I'll cut this and just glue it on with some CA. There we got it. So I just cut all these to length with uh, those nippers. Didn't take any effort at all. Um, I drew my lines, set some medium CA on there, sprayed these little strips with some ticker, and then just kind of set them on there and uh, called it good. So now I get to trim all those edges off, just sand it up a little bit, and that'll be good to cover. Um, so we can cover the rest of these. Uh, we'll get them rehinged. There they are, all covered up. Um, this is that one that I put that new stuff on. You can tell it's a little thicker, but um, maybe I might re I might redo it. But uh, anyhow, I'm headed to bed. That's all for the week. Subscribe, like, catch you next time.